Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am in Deus Ex Mankind Divided today to continue our playthrough. I am in Adam Jensen's apartment. In our last video we were introduced to the game. We achieved some things, we saved the helicopter. We also took out that Wi-Fi bit and we basically got through that little mission. We had all of our augmentations, or at least a lot of them. But then we boarded a train, got on board, came here, got blowed up. And now we do not have all our augmentations. And they are on the fritz. We have to go get them all back. So, being in Adam Jensen's apartment here, we obviously have to look around morning, and get all the loot. From? I, I've got a new David message. Sarif. Ooh, David Seraph. Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. So it's been I'm two years London, since but, uh, uh, the last game. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. So we can talk to him. And now we have some light in here. So let's look around and take what we can take while we're here. I got a secret stash. Check this out. I got a pocket secretary, a welcome package, and an ebook. Jensen, since there's no point trying to convince you not to do what you're planning to do, I figured I could at least stop you from getting killed too quickly. That is, after all, why you constantly come to me for help, isn't it? This device contains data I've collected, links which may or may not support your theory that extremely wealthy individuals have manipulated events and caused everything bad that's happened to us. Maybe sifting through it will let you find them. Pritchard. Remember Pritchard from the first game? Ah... Um, Congress under pressure to reconvene human, human augmentation hearings. The hearings were suspended after a terrorist attack at Seraph Industries claimed the lives of leading researchers. Pro-human activists raid Seraph Factory. They take hostages. This is from the first game. Taiyang Medical continues global expansion. The Shanghai-based augmentation developer increased its market share by 7.3% this week by purchasing yet another human enhancement firm. Anti-augmentation riots erupt worldwide. The violence began after Picus News released grainy satellite footage of scientists performing torturous experiments on augmented super soldiers. World Health Organization issues worldwide recall of biochips. We remember that. Key players to tour Panchea hold an augmentation debate. We remember that. Chaos reigns globally as augmented go insane. All at once, augmented individuals around the world went crazy. Attacking and killing everything in sight just as Jero's broadcasted welcome speech began. Recovery hopes dim as global death toll mounts. Densely populated augmentation friendly cities have suffered the most, although the damage has not been confined completely to them. World's number one augmented private military corporate declares bankruptcy. Already feeling from losses incurred during the AUG incident, Bell Tower's fate was sealed when hackers linked to the Juggernaut Collective leaked details of black site facilities. I remember that. That's the DLC part of the game. Biotech industry collapses. Hard hit by both Taggart Act and a variety of new local and international laws, Seraph Industries joined many of its competitors by closing its doors today. So did Seraph Industries close down? UN report predicts rise in terrorism, calls for Interpol Task Force to counter it. To cope with rising violence and racism against AUGs, governments all over the world are enacting harsh laws. By these laws will, in fact, only encourage more acts of terrorism. Wow, there's a lot here. I think we've read all of it. It's just uh, repeating, yeah. Wow. Um, so there's a lot that has happened. 
added to database we have another one of these tab view entry to hold uh, or tab view entry hold hold tab I guess well it's too late I let that go by I don't I'm not sure what those triangles are for Oh, they're in-game uh, in triangle codes. Deus Ex Go bonus Praxis Packs available. Complete Deus Ex Go to unlock bonus Praxises. Use the Deus Ex Universe phone app to scan this triangle code. So this must be a mobile thing that you can do with your phone if you have the Deus Ex Universe phone app. You scan the triangles and I guess it gives you bonus praxis points for day six go i'm not going to worry about that not i don't have that i don't have that app i don't have the mobile i don't have all that i guess i'm not going to worry about finding all these but it's just interesting to know that there's like that little game inside of a game here for all that okay look we got a welcome package from the juggernaut collective and it looks like we have places to maybe visit. There's this building here. It's something that we need to do. So I can see that there's these places here that we might want to check out. There's a bench. Auto, auto, auto dilly, auto dilly. There's some kind of uh, steps here. This is some kind of alleyway. This is a door. This is just a back alley somewhere and this is a building and I think it shows the spots where those are on the map. We need to check these places out. We absolutely need to check those out. I like this. This is like a little inside thing going on here. And that's now that's a story item. So that's added to my inventory. So I can go back anytime and look at that. Yeah, story items. I also have the whisper chip. I guess I have to put that in somewhere. Breach software. I don't know. I got two ebooks. I did get a new pocket secretary just now. If you're reading this, Breton, it means you got our little welcome package. Good. Now you know what mark to leave if you need to get in touch. Memorize those sites, but use them sparingly. We got other people using them too. In a few days, the pilot will contact you. You met her once before, Spanish girl with a large sidearm in Detroit. She's solid, trustworthy, and very capable. We're getting her false papers and a job at Lebdvev Global. Figured you might need someone permanent watching your back. I'm glad you're doing this. I know you still don't trust us, but we know the TF is tied to our common enemy's activities. Find out how and we'll bring them down together just like we did with Bell Tower. And now remember, this is the guy from the DLC portion of Human Revolution. So it looks like we have a follow-up mission with him here. So we need a we can visit these areas and it's some kind of J, I guess a J for Janus or Juggernaut? J for Juggernaut. So that's interesting. We got all kinds of stuff here, and we haven't even got out of our apartment yet. Looks like we got a motherboard. Hydraulic micro pump. So we can use these things to craft items. Yeah, crafting parts. Which I am definitely going to be using crafting parts. That is something new that we can do. Weapon customizing and crafting. Find from the inventory, select a weapon and select customize to access the customization menu. Item creation, select a crafting part to access the crafting menu. Collect crafting parts to craft items or customize weapons. You know we're going to do that. See this little AMD device here? Back when this game uh, came out, this little AMD device was like a demo that AMD was making. It was actually a real world thing, a real world system that they created for some, I can't remember for what reason, but it was to demonstrate something. 
and uh, that's real world that actually ex existed in the real world so that's really cool uh, this game is tied to AMD they put work and effort into it obviously all right so let's get out of this room into the apartment proper Dear Adam, how are you? I wish you were here, miss you. Cap, cap, Captain? Captain, Captain, Captain? It's Detroit, that's from Human Revolution directly. Look at that, it looks just like the original game. Detroit. Dear Adam, congratulations, I miss you, I love you, I, something. I can't see who that's from, though. <laughs> Look, we got a laundry room, too. Oh, I can use the shower. I need a shower after an explosion. It's always a good idea to take a shower after you're exploded. Now I'm clean. Look how interactive this game this game is. We can take a shower. Glad my augmentations are waterproof, or that would be a killer shower. Yeah ha 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 ha. I made a funny. Police blunders lead to mistrial. Six high-ranking mem members of the Diwali crime family walked out of the courtroom as free men today after it became apparent that state police had once again accidentally destroyed evidence in the Melikov sex trafficking case. The judge had no choice but to declare a mistrial once Officer Horkba testified that a handwritten ledger used to track the buying and selling of prostitutes had inadvertently been shredded. He added that the officer responsible for the mistake has been placed on paid administrative leave while the matter is being investigated. This marks the third case this year in which members of the Diwali organization have escaped justice due to the bureaucratic error. In an assurance hollow enough to echo through the capital, the mayor declared the state is launching an independent investigation into the chain of custody procedures. If corruption exists in Prague, we will stamp it out. I think we're going to have to deal with the Diwali gang in the future. That sounds familiar. Rogue arms dealer killed in Dubai. Interpol reports that John Trent, a dangerous ex-Bell Tower operative who disappeared during the AUG incident, is dead. Trent's body was recovered during a sting operation in Dubai along with a shipment of weapons and banned black market augmentations. He planned to sell the contraband to augmented terrorists using the pseudonym Shepard. And he's dead. We know that. Menswear. Fake it. I guess. Or fucked. Fake, fake it. I like fake it better. It doesn't have to feel like you're a broken machine. H2O boost enhanced water. Fall collection. Can we brush our teeth? No, but we can get a hypo stem. Painkiller. I'm going to need all these things. Hey, let's, uh, let's do some laundry while we're here. That's what I want to do. Nice apartment. Look at this place. The Juggernaut Collective. Let's read about this because we're going to be dealing with the Juggernaut Collective. Apparently, the Juggernaut Collective originated in the early 2020s when a hacker named Eli posted a badly written call to arms type message on the dark net. Filled with misspellings and grammatical errors, it invited those di disillusioned with the string stronghold Percenter, one percenters have on our world to join him in attacking, exposing, and exploiting, spoiling their plots. The group first made headlines in 2025 by hijacking atmospheric processors used by a popular weather artist in Paris and sending hurricane force winds to decimate a page industry sponsored event. Around the same time, Eli was replaced online by a new nom de plume Janus. 
Efforts to ascertain the real-world identity of either hacker have thus far proven unsuccessful. Under Janus's leadership, the Collective have become increasingly effective at bankrupting Fortune 500 companies, exposing governmental misdeeds, and in general making it difficult for the extremely wealthy. Particularly worrisome to counter-terrorism agencies around the world is growing evidence that the Collective have been recruiting a number of experienced agents, often with black ops expertise, so they they're want my help too now. Under, yeah, so this interesting, they, I mean, I guess they're terrorists, but they're fighting a good fight and they want us to help them. Are we going to? I don't know. I don't know. Got credits. Get them creds. We got a computer over here. Got a magazine. We can use this. We need to talk to Seraph because I would love to follow up with our old buddy. So we'll do that. Just making sure there's nothing else I'm missing. There's a computer there, so we'll check that out. Take the bio cell. Still don't know what the bio cells are used for. I guess they just replenish my energy. I need to try one to see what happens. Crafting parts. I guess I'll take wine. And that. It's another ebook. But by the way, I am going to do this kind of reading. So if you don't like it, you can skip forward. I understand. But I am going to do the reading. I want to learn about the world that I'm in here. Uh, Task Force 29, we're going to be dealing with that. The Secret Fight Against Global Terrorism. On the 21st of 2028, a chain of coordinated bomb attacks exploded in upscale, ups, un, unsuspecting cities and communities around the world. In that terrifying six-hour period, up to 50 low-tech but horribly effective devices destroyed lives and terrorized humanity one after the other. Too much, too late. It was a tragic reason the world, fi the world finally heated. Highlighted by a press already going gorging on stories of bloody terrorism, a lack of communication and, and cooperation between international intel gathering organizations were cited as the primary reasons for the March bombings going unprevented. Normally bound and gagged with political red tape, world leaders reached across political fences as international demand for a unified and collaborative solution aligned across the globe. In the weeks following, UN mediators urgently proposed an international cooperative force with the power to act effectively across borders. Built upon the base of the existing G18, the effort quickly expanded with 11 more willing political participants and Task, 20, Task Force 29 was born. So is that what I'm part of now? Task Force 29? Internet, we can reach across international borders. And this is my personal computer. Let's read these emails. Hey Jensen, sorry not to get back to you before this, been buried in a sea of paperwork, and frankly I'm surprised you're asking. Only met Miller once via the MS NSN, seemed more than competent. He was a tactical assault group in Australia before the incident. He was a markman, don't know how he ended up overseeing the Central European office, but then I don't understand how you ended up there either. After Detroit, I figured your SWAT experience and my recommendation would get you in the door, but I thought headquarters would keep you in the States. Sure would use your insider's knowledge of AUG developers to get a handle on the on the black market suppliers we've been chasing down. Hate to say it, but they're giving us heck. Ah well, adapt and react, right? Anyway, not much more I can tell you about Miller. If you do put in for a transfer, let me know first. Maybe I can pull strings. So this is a little bit about Miller. I think that's who we work for. Adam, thank you for your detailed specifications for the trench coat. As discussed, it will be completed within 10 business days. Nice, I have a new trench coat. Can't wait to put it on. Director Miller said you'd probably come in after a good night's sleep, despite what just happened to you. I have no idea why you would do that. If it was me, TF-29 is the last place I would want to go right now. Don't let the bunker atmosphere fool you. This place is a target. We are all targets. I'm not just being paranoid here, okay? You'll understand when we talk in person. Who is this? Peter Chang? P.S. Related to the above thing we need to talk about, I changed your office password. It's now the name of the band of the shirt Araya wore that time I saw her, the one I told you about. I swear I'm not trying to be cute or cryptic. I'm trying to be safe. Chang. P.S.S. 
Try running through your home smart system interface again and let me know if you're still getting that armory glitch. Latest firmware should have taken care of it. Last thing I'd want to do in your shoes is leave my apartment without bullets. I agree. We have a new office password when we get there, so I've got a smart home device. Hello, homeowner. From the menu, please select the type of setting you wish to change. Lock or unlock doors, open or close wall panel. Now let's open the wall panel. Nice. Oh, I don't need a plant. So this is where we can take stuff and store stuff. That's really cool. I'll probably just leave it on the floor though. Uh, let's put the plant back. Alright, next thing was unlock or lock doors. I'll keep you safe. Shutting doors, reactivating keypads. Sure, okay. Alright, let's talk to Seraph. Be a good idea to talk to our old friend. Adam, thanks for calling me back, sir. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job, part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? Jeez, Adam, I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years to both of us. So it definitely has been two years. I can concede that's true for what it's worth. I'm glad you made it out of Pencea or Goad. You've obviously landed on your feet, though, unlike a lot of other people. I'll concede. I'm going to play nice. That's true. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made it out of Pencea. So he survived Pencea wasn't easy, as I'm sure you know. I was at death's door by the time the rescue crews pulled me out of the wreckage. And while the doctors were stitching me back together, my company fell apart. There wasn't anything I could do to stop it, not from a hospital bed. He's been good to us. He was good to us in the first game, so I have nothing against Seraph. corporation that could after the incident. Our patents are tech. But Seraph Industries, I guess, closed their doors. Oh, well. Sometimes one dream has to die, so another can from I mean, that's pretty major. Yeah, let's ask about everybody. You heard anything from Megan? You heard anything from Megan? <sighs> After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. Nah, she, she ditched us. She Detroit, ditched us. So she, went to Versa Life. she moved to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. You want my advice, son? Write her out of your life. That's she's good advice. Sure <laughs> Honestly. Yes, I agree with Seraph. A hundred percent. All right, let's talk. Let's ask about Frank. You talked to Pritchard lately? Frank? <laughs> out of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. I'm sure he would. When the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get Hope I'm not behind. standing here naked in front of now, but he's still Sarah. in computer security, still in Detroit. I just realized. I don't know if he'll ever leave. I just realized I don't have any clothes on. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip, or is this tied to the new dream? Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip, or is this tied to the new dream? I'm uh, meeting with the Santa group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo. They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia, the walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs. Rabia. Rabia. Just part of it. That's We're how you say it. Rabia. Sustaining energy efficient arcologies that can replicated anywhere on earth cities built by the augmented for the augmented where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on it may not seem like it right now son but one day people will move on from the incident and when that happens we'll be ready for it i'm glad we caught up adam i've always tried to look out for you you know that bombing yesterday 
You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. Hmm. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it, really. I was de Sarah. considered dead for a year, huh? Wonder what happened in that year. Cool. We can like watch TV. Don't know that there would be anything interesting on. All I have is a black screen and the game crashed. Okay, so I guess we will not be watching TV because I clicked it, uh, went to a black screen, and the game crashed. <laughs> so that wasn't fun. Luckily, it saved my recording and didn't break it, but wow, um, that completely crashed the game doing that. So we won't try that again. Look at our new coat, which apparently is has graphical errors all over the place. That it's wasn't good. good. From you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. All right, so... Um, Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack... The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. So, I have put on... My new jacket, which actually technically does look really cool. But, apparently, there are a lot of graphical bugs with it, as we just saw. I'm not sure why. Polygon errors, shadow errors. It looked pretty messed up. It's just one of those things where this is an older game, and I'm playing it in 2022, and things like that are going to happen. Crashes, visual errors. You know, we're going to experience some of those things, apparently. That is unfortunate. So I am in number 43. I need to remember that. Can I lock the door? Guess not. I am in number 43, and we are now out into the world of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. And again, for 2016, the graphics do look really, really good. Well, I don't know what you're saying, so... You know what I need? I, I forgot I forgot one thing to do. Hold on. Let's go back inside. Before we continue, I was going to drop the Trank. Not going to use the Trank rifle. I We discussed that last time, so let's discard. And then I'm going to assign you to one. And you to two. And then I'm going to put a... Let's see. What can we put uh, where? Like, let's say I need to, like, heal up real fast. That's hypostim, right? Contains one dose of stimulant and increases the health bar. Yeah, let's assign this then. I want to make it something that I can just hit really fast. I'm going to make it number 7 because I can hit that real fast on my keyboard if I need a lot of health. It's a big button there and I can hit that. And then um, I'm kind of making things useful to how they are on my keyboard. Um, we'll leave that 3. We'll leave, we'll put the bio put the bio cell on 0. And then we'll put the painkiller on six. We'll do that for right now. That will set me up good. I'm ready. And 
We do have a Praxis though, but I can't use it because I've got a Praxis problem. I mean, Praxis problem. A um, augmentation problem. So these are things that we can technically craft when I have enough parts. Mine, Biocell, Typhoon, Multi-Tool, but I can't do that yet. All right, I need to uh, find Kohler inside the bookstore. This is our main goal, but this is actually our main goal. We need to do that first. We need to get our augmentations back in order. And these are like introductory guides. I don't need to do that. Okay, I'm set now. Sorry, I cannot help. Yes, Christelle. A nice girl. She used to babysit my kids. Get lost, wrench. Ooh, okay, they are unfriendly. We got things to sneak into here. Oh man, would I love to, but I really want to get my augs fixed. How much longer is it going to be? Join us, brother. We are going to explore this whole area. I will come back and explore it. But I want my augs working. Again. For 2016, this looks pretty darn cool. And now in 2022, it plays so smoothly. While recording, right here in this scene, which is pretty graphically intense, while recording at a solid 60 FPS, and with maximum settings, I'm sitting at about 75 FPS. That ain't bad, because I'm also recording at the same time. Which decreases performance. So I need to get into the bookstore, but I need to do it like quietly. Let's see if I, I have. Do I have these abilities? I do have these abilities. Yeah, that's the front door. So we know not to do that. I did a quick save there. I made a key so I could do a quick save. This place is just so huge. Ignore that phone. Spam risk. All right, we need to get into the bookstore, but we need to like go up and in. Okay, so these are what bio cells are used for. Button. Use biocell. Biocell plug. That part was true. Just not the right animal. I'm gonna be sick. Here we go. Don't mind me. I'm just. Sneaking on through. Looking forward to the end of the day. All right, this gets me here, but I need to get like over that way, don't I? Oh, maybe I can get in up to there. Ooh, this is dangerous. I already did a quick save back there, so if I 
fail or cause a lot of trouble, I will be able to get out of it. I do have high jump, okay. Uh -huh, I'm in. I'm in somewhere I shouldn't be, but here I am. Throwable box, throwable things. An ebook, augmentated artist. Augmented, augmented artist. International galleries have seen an increased demand for marginal artists, including works created by the augmented. This may seem controversial to some, but the art art world has never shied from that. In fact, augmented artists may have found a powerful ally in the form of Nathaniel Brown, CEO of the Centau Group. A professed artist connoisseur, Brown has already undertaken an open and impressive art gallery in Rabia. He also plans to offer grants specifically to augmented artists to come live and work in the desert oasis. I think the augmented, due to their particular nature and the nature of their enhancements, create art differently, says Brown. They may very well influence a whole new movement, and I encourage other patrons of the arts in Rabia and elsewhere to embrace these artists. The fact remains that for now, augmented artists remain at the fringe, and that getting to Rabia to enjoy what seems to be available artistic freedom may be well beyond most. So that's who Seraph is going to see. And we already read that. Got a bio cell back from that whole ordeal. <laughs> Crafting parts, definitely useful. Got a computer and we got a way through. Okay, we're gonna have to hack this thing. Oh, it's a five of five. I don't think I can hack that, can I? Or maybe I can. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Nope. It's gonna lock, it's gonna... I go, ooh, I've only got four to five attempts left. I can't zoom out. There's something about the uh, the menu here is it's not centered correctly, and I can't I can't see things very clearly. The hacking is I think it I don't know what it is, but something about it is messed up. I can't see the whole thing like I need to. I got in this time. Right. Lena, I spoke with the bank and they're expecting you. I already signed so you can just remove all the money and close the account. Try not to worry. I share your concerns, but what choice do we have? Without a permit, we're going nowhere and we're not getting one from the government. They've made that clear enough. When we were young, we used to go to concerts and pay the scalpers twice, sometimes three times the original ticket prices. This is the same thing. When we get to Rabia, we can worry about the next steps and use the other half of the money. That young girl may have made us feel like beggars when she was explaining the costs, but a loan from Santau might be the only way. I know it was heartbreaking you to part with some of the things we had to sell, but we still have to do our work and the promise for a better, li better life to look forward to. This will be worth it, I promise you. I'll see you at home later this evening. Peter. Helena and Peter, I want to let you know personally that the money has been transferred to your account and express my appreciation another time for the wonderful work of art you have brought into this world. I cannot wait to see how it looks on the walls of my new home in Rabia. It may not be the place to tell you what to do with the money you have just received, but if you have time for the, for the opinion of a patron, I would like to recommend that you consider going to Rabia yourself. I've watched Suntow's CEO Nathaniel Brown more than once on television speaking of how the city will provide a haven for augmented people to be able to express themselves without fear of public opinion. Artists such as yourself would thrive there, I'm sure. The cost is significant, but certainly, wor uh, certainly worth it to be out of Prague. Imagine walking the streets, a warm sun upon every augmented head, surrounded by our kind and never having to worry about bigots or violence. 
If Brown is right, then I can only imagine opportunities galore for you both. Every new city attempting to make its mark in the world must encourage a great art, especially one as remarkable as Rabia. Whatever your decision, I wish you both the very best and hope someday to see you again. Good luck in your endeavors and farewell. Yours sincerely, Jacob Zambon. Interesting. Don't know what all that's about. Rabia, though, they're definitely talking a lot about Rabia. All right, looks like we're going through here. I don't exactly know where the bookstore is at. I mean, we're close to it. I'm just not sure the right way to go. I guess we got to sneak in, obviously, because uh, um, there's guards. Oh, I'm in a restricted zone. This is dangerous. Also, I guess I need to stay on the rooftops. Okay. Hope they don't see me. I'm going to do a quick save right here. Uh-huh. Because, yeah, I need to be careful. I need to not be detected. All right, there's the bookstore, but as he said, the front door is obviously, look, we got people there and we got people there. I would love to shoot these people and take them out. The problem is that it will, I'll be in a big battle if I do that. So what are my options? What are my options? They almost saw me. Almost saw me. Dang it. I wasn't looking. They almost saw me. There are people everywhere. How am I going to get down here? See, this is where the trank would come in handy, right? But... I wonder if there's like a back way. Shoot, there's a guy right there. I am not good at this stealth stuff. All right, let's Let's see. Maybe if I could get around to there, there's a way back in. Let's see if I can do a uh Let's go invisible. So my invisible, it's not it's not on a thing. Why are you not on a thing? You're F1. You're sh you should be F2. Aha! Perhaps here.
Huh. Well, we can't go that way. Well, we can't go this way. This way, how does this help me? Well, there is absolutely nothing here that helps me. What is the point of this? I did get a data pad. Let's see what that says. So I already hear about the eviction. There's storage area behind my shop. You can keep some of your stuff there. The door code is... Okay, I got a door code, but... There's nothing, there's nothing down here. I'm cloaked and I'm walking. I'm going to go around the corner over here. I'm not seen, I'm not seen. I have a code. Shoot! I didn't know there were people in there. Yeah, that, that wasn't, that didn't go well. Alright, I didn't know there were guys in there. Like, I should have expected that. I should have used my vision to see if there was guys in there. I opened the door thinking that was a sneaky way in. And I guess it was, but there was full... Oh, uh, they put me right in a bad place. They put me and they put me in a they put me in the worst place. Look where I load. Look where I load. I load. I load cloaked, thank goodness, but I'm in front of everybody. And I have no I have no um I have no uh energy. Let my energy cell come back up. No energy, no energy. They got me in a bad place. They got me in a bad place. Of course, I put myself in this place. Come on. 
How am I going to get out of this situation? This is terrible. I mean, I'm in the worst spot. I thought I could make it around that corner and hide, but my my augmentation is my energy cell is almost depleted when I come out of this. Tough cookies. Tough cookies. They got me in a really bad place. I'm in the middle of everything and I can't get out. Ooh, I made it. I'm hidden. That guy's gonna see me though. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, maybe okay, maybe okay. I'm in. I'm in. I just need to take these guys out quietly. Not enough energy, my gosh. Do I have anything that can give me more energy cell like energy cells? So far, good. Okay, we're good in here. We're good in here. We're good in here. Ah, oh, good. We're, we're, we're in here. We're in here. Must be a, like another way in. There's a guy right there, and there's several here. Someone's nearby. Want to let the searching go down. That energy is really getting me. 
I'm having an energy problem. So do these bio cells give me more energy or not? Oh, they do boost my energy. Okay. Oh, there's so a lot of them. So a lot of them. Quietly working my way through. I tried. station in town looking for you? That's not necessary. I'll be in soon. Good. Because we've got work to do. You 
just fucked yourself! <laughs> Well, I didn't mean to kill. I meant to, uh... These were bad guys, so I don't feel bad. They were shooting up his books. Super secret book, right? I remember it's red. Aha, a secret way. worked out well enough anyway. Remember I said I would try to go in sneakily. I would try to take people out nice at first, but then when all else fails and everybody starts shooting at me, well I'm going to shoot back and that's just the way it is. That's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, I can't be in this room. can't believe I just died. <laughs> Jeez. I couldn't find my way back out. I couldn't find the vent. Yeah, fine, whatever. That sucked. That was embarrassing. So there's obviously stuff in there. I need the rebreather to go in there. Oh, I didn't check out the computer while I was in here. Let's do that. Oh, I might not be able to hack it. I need a rating of two.
Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? Nothing I couldn't handle. What do they want? You behind on your projection money? Oh, my jacket looks good here. It's not messed up. I... I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sadie fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. <laughs> what exactly are you going to do to me? I'm not sure yet. First, I got to get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. I promise. Besides, you've been here a few times. You know I'm professional. You've never had to put me under before. I never saw you the day after an explosion before either. That was a big shock to your system, man. Kaboom! Now, you want me to fix you or not? Yeah, what about the thugs? Hang on a sec, you're gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Otar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikolatze. He is the number one guy. We're gonna have and to take I him out Radic, eventually. So, so don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure or what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get back on track with my augs. All right. Let's just get this over with. I think it's going to reset us so that we have to, you know, it's going to be fine. Work on getting new praxis points and things. You feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's going to bring you back and make you you again before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You even still move, huh? Where, where did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking augs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have... Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. No freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Carl? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... These, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well... I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. 
turns out your factory zero is not the standard factory zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. I Even got new experimental your logs. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. Use the mouse to navigate and click the icon to select, select one of the uh, experimental augmentations. So, the projected energy propulsion system, or PEPS, uses an invisible deuterium fluoride laser to generate a wall of concussive force that knocks down targets and displaces objects. That could be useful. That could be very useful to me. Remote hacking. It's I think okay, that's... Jensen. Let's actually do, kill you. Let's do remote hacking, actually. I know that's going to be useful. Practice required to practice. Let's purchase it. See that? Major spike in your power consumption. Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you want to use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Um. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. How do I do that? Oh, deactivation. Go ahead, mode. Jensen. Shut down one of the implants no. you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just. You know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay. So we got some new uh, experimental augs to play with here. It's going to be fun. Figuring okay. out what I want to use so or not, not use. always going to be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. Thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man. I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my augs. If there's something inside me I don't know about, he's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new orbs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Saris, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. So, you ever seen anything like this before? The AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually they wake up with less AUGs, not more. What exactly makes these AUGs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what? Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is uh, untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's it's beautiful, is what it is. Hmm. And why would Seraph have hidden these things? I don't get it. Why would Seraph have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. 
I am not convinced this is a Sarif job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Sarif's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? Well, apparently I was... I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility yeah, in Alaska to recover. Legally dead for a year. There's a few months there that... I'm in Alaska. Remember, a facility in Alaska. Something happened to me there. Got new augs. That I shouldn't have. That's terrifying. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless? Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. Uh-huh. Neuroplasticity calibrator. That's what I need. Yes. I've had enough procedures. Yeah, no, I accept. If there's a way for me to use everything I have, I want to know about it. I absolutely 100% agree, there's 100 agree with that. There's a way to use everything I have without compromise. I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But my last shipment got intercepted by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, it does. then you should know <laughs> that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. Underground the casino. is in a small courtyard of Hlavni Street. Yes, I want this Thanks neuroplasticity the the thing. Praxis. Absolutely, that's uh, something we're going to do. That neuroplasticity thing, gotta have it, because I want to enable, aug my aug enable all of my augments. He also has a lot of stuff in here to loot. I really want to look around this entire place. I'll read that in a second. I want to uh, I want to look over this whole place. It's pretty cool a little hideout he's got here. But first we need to enable some of our new abilities and stuff here. Let's see what we have going on. So the green things are what I do have. And the orange is what I do not have fixed yet. And then the white I don't have at all. Or up all the way, I should say. So I've got the info link. Establish and receive wireless transmissions. Um, no activation required. Effects are applied automatically. Implants info link directly into the inner ear. Communicate silently. That is definitely what I have. How many praxises do I have? Oh, I have 11 freaking praxises. I can enable a lot of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Give me just a minute here and let me let me collect myself and uh, enable some augmentations. There's some things that I definitely want to have. Um, obviously, the way I'm going in with combat is that I want to have the dermal armor because my health is getting real low I, I like I, apparently in this gameplay I guess I'm gonna be going in and using a lot of weaponry and taking direct fire and that sort of thing so for me the dermal armor is going to be important that's gonna be something that I want and then energy I'm having an energy cell problem I'm going to need lots of energy and the social enhancer is definitely something that's gonna be useful so we can use a social enhancer and uh, convince people of things. <laughs> I'm going to need that. Um, the stealth avatar upgrade activates upon detection by an attacker and monitors the behavior and eye movements in order to determine whether or not they've lost sight of the user. 
I mean, I've already got it, so we'll just, yeah, keep it on. That's fine. Um, but batteries, that's going to be a problem. I need more. I need more battery. I need more regen. We're going to get one of each. That increases the bio cell recharge rate. It increases the maximum storage capacity of the bio cells. It reduces the delay time between depletion and regeneration. See, the way I look at it, none of these augs are good if I can't have enough, you know, bio cell power to use them, right? None of them are good if I don't have that. And I did say I want to enable the dermal armor. So, offers some protection from physical damage. Offers good protection from physical damage. We'll probably enable the next one when I get another Praxis. But just enabling it right now will help. Protection from physical damage. And then, um, maybe a hacking ability or something? Let's see what we've got here on arms. Punching through walls is useful. Maybe a bigger inventory. Lift and throw heavy objects. You know me, I've gotta have a I gotta have a big inventory. I definitely oops, I didn't mean to do that. I definitely want the jump high. Have to have the jump high. Yeah, leap to extraordinary heights. I have to have that jump mod. And the other thing would be the fall mod. Ooh, I need one more Praxis to get the Icarus landing system. And I gotta have that. So I'll wait and get one more Praxis and then do that. Now, I have some things I can craft, but I really don't need them yet. So we'll wait until I, like, need them. I think the next thing is going to be to travel uh, to our base and uh, meet our our base person because they're getting a little antsy and they want us to meet them. TF twenty nine base. Yeah, look at my uh, energy cells now, much better. That's definitely something I want to max out because, I mean, what, are, what good are the augmentations if you don't have the energy to use them, you know? So that's something I want to definitely max out when I can. Just allows me to use them. Now, let's see what we have. I don't have the see-through walls anymore. I don't have going cloak. I don't have any of those things that I had before, so I'm going to have to get see-through walls is definitely one one of the first ones I'm going to have to get, actually. So, that's looking good. Let's look at my inventory. Now I got a bigger inventory. That's going to be useful. I have weapons here. Actually, let's make you three. Okay, I'm set. I'm set for the next mission, which is to go to the TF-29 headquarters. Oh, did I just get another Praxis? Wait a minute. Somehow, I just got another Praxis. No, let's just have one. Okay. Alright, I'm going to wait. Uh, I am going to loot this place, though. Let's loot it real quick, and then I'll end the video for today. This has been a bit of a longer one than expected. The Diwali family. China's gang problem still holds second place to the criminal activity raging in the Slavic regions. Worse, the lines defining the Russian underworld have blurred since the formation of the Federated States in 2016, with many of their desperate neighbors swelling the Russian mafia to levels never seen before. 
But for the latest and greatest waves in the criminal underworld, you need to head further west to the restless Czech Republic to run into the gang of our top spot for the deserved reputation of rules most wanted, the Diwali family. In 2003, Levon Diwali, son of founding father, brutal crime lord, Jakob, left his hometown of Batami, Georgia, and set up a criminal shop in Prague. The Diwali have been in violent control of the European underworld ever since. With the rule of blood that, re that members can only be of direct Georgian descent, Levin Diwali has continued his father's brutal legacy by expanding their ruthless criminal family and redefining what it means to be a gang in the 21st century. And we're definitely going to be meeting up with them. Well, I can just directly get into his computer. I have been experiencing some strange symptoms since my last visit with you. This is unacceptable. You will do something about this. Yes, I will be expecting you tonight. As for Amir Slava, she will bring you to me. Hmm. What are you trying to do to me here? Shut me down, evade my sleep, give me even more nightmares. Two of those logs you dropped off, they still had organs attached. Now you know why I never ask questions. Questions are scary. Questions are bad. But when I see pieces of tissue clinging to a P-dot array, the questions I don't ask start invading my eyeballs. I know, I know. I didn't know what else to do with the machinery. They were killed by the cops and didn't want the stuff to end up in some evidence locker or whatever. This is what they would have wanted, V. At least this way it gets to help our people in some way, right? Mr. Kohler, recently you ordered some equipment through, through us, very special medical equipment from China. Normally I do not ask our clients why they want the things they want to get us to them. I simply negotiate terms and move on. The terms you negotiated, however, were not done through me, and for that reason they remain unclear. I do not like businesses that isn't clear, so before I hand over your merchandise, you and I will need to talk. Come to the casino, or I will send you my men to escort you there. Ha. That's why they, that's why they are after him. Take that software. So remember, he does have that little area uh, that we couldn't get into back here. That's uh, hiding uh, back here, but the problem is it's gassed. And we can't breathe gas yet, and it would just kill me. So I will have to wait until I can breathe gas to come back and go in there. I just have to remember to do that. Of course, I think I'm going to have to end up coming back here anyway. Once I get that neuro stabil sta stabilizer thing, I'm going to want to come back here and get that installed so I can use all my augs. But I do want to get that neuro stabilizer. So I think the goal in the next video is to first go to our headquarters, TF-29, and get checked in, because they are waiting for me. And then after that, I'll do the uh, side mission, which is to get the um, neural stabilizer thing, and then come back here and get that installed so I'll be able to use all my AUGs. I think that will be a good mission to start off with in this game. But anyway, I'm going to leave it right here. We've got our AUGs working now. We are kind of factory reset back to zero. We have to build up our augmentations just like we had to in the first game. That makes sense. Obviously, they weren't going to leave us with every AUG enabled. We have to build them up with Praxis points. And in that way, we get to design and customize our character, uh, which is really nice. Um, I love that ability. And uh, naturally, the combat style seems like it's going to be a lot of direct gunfire. Um, I really had a lot of problems getting in here. There were a lot of people blocking my way and my energy cells just kept running out so fast that you know using like the uh, cloaking device or whatever just really drained the energy cells so that is obviously also a priority is to get the energy cells up which I did here now because without that you can't use your augmentations so you know you got to do that uh, but I think I'll go for that I think I'll go for dermal armor I think I will go for um, hacking ability and hacking uh, the upper levels of things. Uh, also, uh, remote hacking, I know that will be useful. Um, and then, uh, definitely want the Icarus landing system. I need the see-through walls ability. I need that. 
Now, there's a lot of things I need, but that's going to be fun. So anyway, we kind of did our first mission getting into the bookstore. And um, yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to have to play it. I'll try to be silent and I'll try to take people out at first. Uh, but when that fails and they start shooting bullets, well, then I'm going to start shooting bullets. And that's just the way it is. So like I said, a hybrid game style leaning a little more heavy on the action side. But that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Again, I'm in this for the story and um, really interested in that. I'm going to read. As you can see, I'm going to read all the dialogue. I'm going to read all the emails. I'm going to read the ebooks. I'm going to read the newspapers, the data pads, pocket secretaries. I'm going to read all those things. So just be patient. Um, if you don't want to see me read those things or bypass them, you can just skip a little forward in the video uh, to bypass those. Perfectly fine with me, but for me, for the storyline, I'm reading those things so I can understand the universe, the lore, and the world, bu wor world building. Uh, once again, this video has gone on a little bit longer than it's, go than it's going to be in future videos. Um, there was, uh, I just didn't do a lot at the beginning because I was, you know, figuring out all my things in Jensen's apartment. So I spent a lot of time there at the beginning of the video, so I thought I'd spend a little extra time, you know, getting some things done at the end of the video. So that's why this one went on a little bit longer. But future videos, again, I'm going to try to keep down. The next video will be closer to one hour instead of like two hours. <laughs> so this uh, first video and this one were very long. The next ones won't be as long. But anyway, thank you for watching. And if you like what you see here, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell notification icon, and giving this video a like. It helps the algorithm. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.